Okay, I'm calling this Lighthouse Revisited. Uh, now that I have done this exercise with a couple of classes, I have noticed a certain kind of problem happening. So I'm just going to briefly go over a couple of things. Uh, this is how I finished it, by the way. Uh, it's not what you saw because I added a few more darks in the background and maybe that's when I stuck the birds in. I don't remember. Okay, so that was my finished product. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to give you a suggestion, plus we're going to talk about the values on the lighthouse again. So uh, I have here a pencil, actually a tracing, but it's it's I, I blackened the back of the um, I blackened the back of this with pencil this time instead of using that uh, transfer paper. So I've got a pen here. Here's the thing, because uh, I've seen people take, uh, uh, you know, a card or a ruler and make all these straight lines and everything, and I, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but, you know, if you're actually working out of a sketchbook, you probably want to be a lot freer than that. Uh, so what I'm suggesting is that, because I know a lot of us, myself included, are a little bit timid about just, whooping it out with a pen, you know? So, um, my suggestion is that maybe you do a pencil drawing. You could do a pencil tracing, or, you know, you can also just do, you know, a light pencil drawing of what you wanted to do, because that gives you a chance to correct and shift and move things around. Uh, but here's the other thing. You know where, where you're drawing straight lines and you're worried about whether they're gonna be straight or not? Well, I'm going to suggest, watch, watch the way I'm working this pen. I'm going to suggest that you do kind of uh, jerky lines. So I'm going back over the line. I noticed some of these in a sketchbook, and this is what made me think to do it. So if I'm working like that, that's a sketchy looking line. And because it's a sketchy looking line, it doesn't look wrong if it's a little bit off because it's a, obviously a sketched line. It's when you try to do that perfectly beautiful straight line. And if it doesn't, well, that one's not too awful. Uh, if it doesn't turn out really straight, then it looks off. But if you're just doing this little do -do 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 thing like that, then it doesn't look off. By the way, my tracing is a lot of terrible crooked lines. So, uh, I could just do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do some values again. We're gonna, we're gonna have a little talk. So, you know, I got to thinking, I don't even really need to finish this because I, I'm not showing a whole lot here. Oh, look, here's the thing. A, a lot of these lines, you don't have to finish these lines. You know, you can just kind of do bits of them. Uh, you can do them lightly. You can make them heavy. Uh, you can leave them off entirely and just use your pencil line. Uh, whatever's working for you. Let's see. Here, you know. There we go, look at that. Okay, so, uh, and then before you paint, because I'm not even gonna do the, you know, the, the railings and all of that, because that's not what this is about. This is just a brief thing that I gotta show you. Okay, so, you know, but if you're just doing a drawing for a sketchbook, then you could then go back and erase the original drawing. And don't think for a minute that a lot of sketchbooks haven't had just this happen to them. Okay, now, here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna pick this up. Wait a minute, maybe I can do it this way. 
This you've seen before. I've showed everybody this before. Okay, let me see if I can hold it where there's no glare. You see the two dots, the two holes there? Same value, right? Okay. Now, here's a neat little thing. See if I can just flip it over like that. Whoops, where were those? Can you see the A and the B? Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to point the wrong place. Okay. See, there's the A and there's the B. Those look really different, don't they? Guess what? They're not. They're the same value. It's what they're next to that makes them look different. Boy, and that's a really dramatic. I mean, that looks very different. Okay, so you saw that. Just look again. There's, there's B and there's A. They look like they're very different and they're really the same value. Okay, so when we look at this lighthouse, you see this little area right here? So many people are translating that like it's white like this. It's not. It's on the shadow side of the building. And it's not as dark as that. But it's nowhere near as light as this. Oh, I know. Let's just take these. Let's just look. There's. And here. They're not near as different as those two pieces. But this is lighter than that. I don't know if you can tell, but it is. It's This is lighter. And, of course, this is lighter than this. And that, that's not as dark as this. That little area right there, this other little triangle, is really about the same value as this triangle. But we're not going to split hairs over that. Uh, okay, so let's just paint this, and I'm just going to use burn number, and uh, just do a, a, a quick little study, that's all, that's all we're doing. So we will leave this area just white, okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to paint this value here and over here. This is darker than that. We'll add to it later. Just pull a little of that up. There, I'm just trying to make it whatever. All right, so as this goes, the deal is that this whole side is at least as dark as that. Now, I'm not even going to bother with the shading on these little core bells. Well, maybe we will. Okay. So that would come on down. It would get this and that. Okay. There we go. And this. While you're at it, you could do this thing up under here, too. Although it's really not part of the illustration. All right. So, let's see. I may have that a little heavier. There we go. I'm trying to make that match this. Okay. Now, let's... Oh, okay. I'll do that thingy, too. Actually, these are way darker, so 
there's really not a point, no point in messing with that. Okay, so these are our lightest areas. Of course, I'm not doing the railings and the, you know, here and the top and everything. You'll have to ignore that. But this area is the lightest, as is the facing on this window. The facing on this window is darker. It's dark like, it's dark like the front of the, or the side of the building. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna darken some of these areas. And first thing though, I have to let it dry. Bye. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna put another value on here. So remember, even though this looked lighter, it's not as light as this. I don't think that showed up on my little dots as well as I wanted it to, but. So we're just going to put that deeper value right over here. And let's see, it's all darker up under here. Yeah, especially darker. Well, actually, it's darker right there. It's over this, so it's darker up under here. It's a lot darker up under here. And I shouldn't have left that white. That should be the same color as this, pretty much. Okay, I gotta concentrate before I mess up. So here's the thing, and, and of course that top is darker because it's, you know, it's a roof, it's a different color. So it gets even darker than that, but I'll not leave it white. All right, so then what about this? Well, that facing, that facing looks light, seems light, because the interior here is really dark, but the facing, you can hardly separate it from the, from the uh, wall there. So all of this gets darker too. Like that. Okay. And of course these would be darker because all of this would be darker. I shouldn't even be doing this right now. This is just going to create confusion because I don't have that dark enough. But the point is, you see, now this stands out. But that's what it needed to do. And this is the dark that's really facing this way. And this is, this part is like halfway between. So I should have gotten that a little darker. There. Even the front of this little ditty right there. Okay. So I'm going to do one more thing to this. I've got kind of a funny run there. I'm going to do one more thing to this so that it shows up right. It looks like I got this top part here a little bit darker than that. I didn't mean to. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is just deepen some shadows. So right in here, this whole thing is darker. I'm painting on this uh, sketch pad paper and it had different effects. Okay, so that would be a little darker. Also, of course, I'm only doing this because it just makes it look better. Well, we'll forget that. 
Pretend that didn't happen. Should have used a little brush. Okay, so you can see You can see now the interior of this is darker, and within that, there's still a deeper shadow yet in here. That looks flat like it's a like it's a door, and it's not. You're seeing down into it. So we have to do something to make that work. I guess I'll fix that too. Okay, I'm going to switch to a little round brush. So we'll just go a little darker. For one thing, there's a shadow in here that I could turn into a hard edge shadow right there. It's very soft, and you could keep it soft, but again, it kind of makes a piece that pops better if you have some areas like that. So actually, that might do it right there. There is a little dark line right along here. So what that does is that tells you that that's no longer a flat door. It's an opening. There's no door there. Okay. So that kind of works. I just want everybody to get that and understand because I, I, I saw so many people going south with this even after I demonstrated it. It, it, it can be confusing. So that's all. That is Lighthouse Revisited.